Well, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission have delisted another 18 digital money lenders from operating without regulatory approval. The Executive Vice Chairman of the Commission, Mr. Babatude Rukera, in a statement at Abu in Abuja, said the digital money lenders were operating in violation of a limited interim regulatory and registration framework and guidelines for digital lending 2022. He said the Commission has ordered Google to remove the applications from the Play Store. Sairu Kera reiterated the Commission's commitment to ensure legal and ethical operations in digital money lending. He called on consumers to patronize our only approved digital money lenders. An expert in Africa's energy sector say more access to energy will be the biggest driver of social and economic development in the continent going forward. This form part of the outcome at the just concluded 2023 Nigeria's annual uh, international conference and exhibition put together by the Society of Petroleum Engineers in Lagos. The theme of the event was balancing energy accessibility, affordability and sustainability, strategic options for Africa. Chairman SP in Nigerian Council, Mr. Felix Obike, says the conference has achieved significant milestones over the years, serving as a knowledge hub, facilitating exchange of best practices and insights and amongst industry professionals, fostering deeper understanding of petroleum engineering trends and challenges. Other speakers and notable players in the oil and gas industry at the conference outlines Africa's energy opportunities and challenges. Over the years, NICE provides our partners, our sponsors, our exhibitors, and our conference participants with wide engaging opportunities to grow their businesses, using, of course, new technologies and deepening and as well as expanding their technical capabilities. It provides access to the industry's key decision makers, the latest industry innovations, best practices, state-of-the-art technologies and investment and market opportunities. Every year, SPE has come up with very germane themes that border on the national development of Nigeria. And this year's theme, balancing energy accessibility, affordability, and sustainability cannot be more apt, particularly when the focus is on strategies for Africa. The Nigerian Society of Engineers is proud of this fact, the fact that the SPE continuously and continually offers solution to the problems of Nigeria. Nigeria's oil and gas generate valuable export earnings and provide highly skilled jobs. The technical knowledge sharing and capacity building provided by SPE continue to ensure that we assess these resources in safe, affordable, and sustainable manner. And in business news, the Debt Management Office says it's set to expand capital market offering by listing its 130 billion Naira sovereign Sukuk on the Nigerian Exchange Limited and the FMDQ Securities Exchange Limited. DMO in a statement obtained from its website, uh, today, according to the DMO, listing of a 130 billion Naira Sovereign Sukuk on an NGX and FMDQ expand the range of financial offering available to investors in the capital market while stating that the opportunity to buy and sell the Sovereign Sukuk will provide liquidity to investors and promote price discovery. It also revealed that the total Sovereign Sukuk issued since the product was introduced in 2017 stood at 742.5 billion Naira.